Hey everyone, David here. And in this quick video, we are looking at the features of WP Video Pop-Up. Um, I've created a test installation here and the plugin is hosted in the WordPress repository. So we head over here and add a new plugin. Search for WP Video Pop-Up. And the plugin that we are looking for is this one. Hit install. and activate. So the plugin doesn't actually create, <clears throat> excuse me, a settings page. And there are instructions on how to use the plugin here. Um, there's this sample shortcode that we can use. So let's head over to our um, sample page and add a shortcode. Paste the shortcode here. And the plugin uh, consists, consists of two components. So we first need to add the shortcode and, and then we need to add an element that we want to work as the trigger element that opens the light box. So this could be anything. And the, the only thing it needs to have is this unique class. So let's actually add a button. And make it our trigger element. The link is empty, basically. And under advanced here, we can add um, our unique CSS class. So let's hit update. And now when we view the page and click the trigger element, it will open our responsive light box. There we go. And you can exit the light box uh, by hitting the escape button on your keyboard clicking the close icon here or simply like clicking outside of the video like this. All right. Now let's have a look at some of the available um, shortcode attributes that we can use. So we can mute the video by default, hide related videos, which will hide, um, which will technically no longer work, but instead hide videos from uh, your own channel. Um, then we can start the video at a specific uh, time or for Vimeo videos, for instance, we can view them in portrait mode. And here's another um, sample shortcode that we are going to use now that will mute the video by default and start it at 24 seconds. So when we go back to the page, simply going to replace the shortcode with this one. So again, the, <clears throat> if we now click uh, the trigger element, the video will be muted and start at 24 seconds. Let's actually change the trigger element as well to something else. So, so just for you to see that you can basically use any element as a trigger element. So let's add an image, give it our unique class, WP video pop-up. Of course, we should now remove this one. And when we hit update and go through the front end, this image will now work as the trigger element. And again, the video is now muted. That's why it's starting uh, the place automatically, basically. And it started at 24 seconds, as you can see here. All right, now let's have a look at some of the pro features available. With the pro version, you can add multiple videos to single post or page. Add self-hosted videos. You get color settings and can change the video size. You can autoplay specific video on page load or basically um, trigger a video pop-up uh, via your, uh, URL. Now, first of all, we are going to add multiple videos to a single page. With multiple videos on a single page, the shortcode is slightly different. It gets a unique ID, which will then be used as the class to work as a trigger element. So this video has the video ID one, and this trigger has the unique class video one, and that will trigger this video. So uh, for the second video, this uh, the, the next shortcode has a unique ID, which will then as well work as the class for the next trigger element. Um, let me show you by this example, actually. So I will copy this short code, replace our old one, 
and grab this short code and add it here as well. So now we have two uh, different videos with their unique IDs. Now let's add two trigger elements. <clears throat> Button video one and our class for this one will be video one. Now when we duplicate this button, I'm gonna call it video two and change the CSS class to video two. And of course we need to, first of all, uh, activate the pro version. So we head over to install plugins, activate uh, the pro version. It will now tell you um, to deactivate the regular version. So let's do this, deactivate. And now when we go and hit refresh on our page, we, we see those two buttons and this one will open our first video while this one will open the video from Vimeo. And there we go. This is how we add multiple videos to single page or post. Now let's change the color and the video size real quick. In the pro version under settings WP video pop-up you will get these controls so you can change the overlay color let's change it to something crazy like transparent orange and we can change the pop-up size it can be anything 1200 pixels is the default value it can be 75 percent let's make it 900 pixel just so you see the difference now when we go back to the page and hit refresh it obviously has changed Now let's check out the autoplay on page load feature. So when we head over to the documentation and to pro, uh, we see autoplay on page load feature is uh, highlighted here. And what it get, uh, all you need to do is add this um, attribute to the shortcode for the video you want to pop up on page load. So copy this. Let's say we want to, add, um, we want our second video to to open up on uh, page load. So let's get back here. And our second video is this one. And, and now we paste our uh, attribute here. Hit update. And now when I refresh the page, it should open the video on page load. And there it is. Well, you can also um, add self hosted videos. I'm not going to go into detail about this. So all you would do is upload your video on your WordPress installation and then um, replace the video URL right here with the uh, one of your own video and it will work perfectly fine. Um, other than that, we have one more thing to look at and it's the URL trigger. This can be um, useful if you want to send someone yeah, to, to, to watch a specific video so you can add um, a URL parameter and it will show a specific video. So let's have a look at the documentation again on the pro URL trigger. So again, all we need to do is add this question mark video equal and then the video ID. So in that case, it would be video video one. Let's see what that does. And it opens our first video. Well, it actually opened two videos. Oh yeah, of course, because I'm still uh, um, auto loading this, auto playing this uh, the second video on page load. So let's hit update again. Let's try this one more time, and there's our first video. Perfect. Okay, so that is it for uh, WP Video Pop Up and WP Video Pop Up Pro. The Pro version is currently available for twenty nine dollars per year, twenty nine ninety. And yeah, as always, if you have any questions, just let me know down below in the comments and see you in the next video.